Good morning guys, it's a rainy Friday morning. I have a couple of sales I'm trying to go to, and then I have an appointment here at nine o'clock. Right after that, we're gonna head out to a citywide. I have my new GoPro here with me. Hopefully it works out. We're gonna kind of test it with today. Um, but yeah, hopefully we don't pick up too much stuff because I'm moving in less than a month now and I don't really have time to uh, hold on to a bunch of stuff or space to hold on to a bunch of stuff, but we'll see how we do. You guys will find out in this video, so yeah. Let's get out there. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Just showing you everything I got yesterday at the citywide sale. First off, this cute little plastic trinket dish. It does say um, Hong Kong on the back. It's not worth a lot, but I thought it was super cute. I just couldn't leave it behind. Um, it was a free will donation, so I ended up giving them three bucks for this, which I think is, you know, oh, fair. We also got this for 25 cents. It is in a glass bottle from Bath and Body Works. Um, I didn't really comp this, I just saw it was new, so, or it looked new, and, um, thought I'd throw it on the dollar auction, if anything. Then we also got a pair of Miss Me's. Let me get them pulled out here. Really cute pair of Miss Me jeans, size 28, and there's the back, nice and sparkly. We also got this. This, I remember seeing when I was younger. Um, I think they had just a bunch of different merch, but anyways, I looked it up and there's three sold and one listed currently, so I figured I'd pick this up. It was a quarter. Next, we did get a Betsy Johnson bag. It was in a really dingy, like, estate sale house, and so it looked really clean in there, but then once I got out, I realized how dirty it is, so we're gonna try to clean that up. Next, I went to a sale and found this. Um, the lady said that they had gone to New York for a game, and this was like a stadium giveaway. And I think she only wanted like a quarter for it, and there's some decent comps on that. And also, at another sale, picked up some Pampered Chef. This little paring knife set for $5. Looks like it, I could sell it for around 10 to 15 so I figured I'd pick it up for a quick flip. Um, we also got some Scentsy Bars, which are for me. Then, at a sale, I got some of these vintage coasters, 10 cents per bag. Um, I had picked up some older ones and found out that they sell really well, or they have good pricing on them. So, I went ahead and picked up just these two. This one seems to have a little... I don't know what this is. We'll have to check that out. It looks like a little pillow. Um, but yeah, 20 cents invested into that. We also got a little fairy lamp. There it is. It sits somewhat like that. I'm trying to do the best I can with one hand. I think I have one just like that that's blue. Picked up some other Y2K platformy looking shoes for, I think this was a buck. Found this in a free bin and I thought it was very interesting. So I thought I'd just grab it for free. It's just kind of like a teddy bear body with a doll head. Um, got this. L.L. Bean little traveling bag for a couple bucks and we also got these Harley boots for 20 bucks and they are really really cool. I wish they were my size because honestly those are freaking awesome. They are size 6 I'm assuming in women's. Um, really cool. And then we also got a pair of Nikes down there. I know I'm trying not to pick up more shoes but there's a decent sell-through rate on those, so I grabbed those. And then we have a couple more things. Don't mind all these boxes. This is all listed inventory that needs to go out. But we got a bunch of these Crayola lights. If you ever find these at a decent price, I think they're a good pickup. But if you find the one, it's like a bigger box. It's like three of these put together. It's a big box, and it's multicolored lights. Those sell really well. Um, when I picked them up, I don't think there were sold comps. Um, so I had to look them up, but... If you ever see those Crayola lights, double check. Um, I did get this. Uh, saw one comp for around 20 bucks. The other ones were listed super high. I figured I'd just grab this. I think it was like, oh yeah, 75 cents. So if I don't sell it in time, no big deal. Don't mind Taco making some noise up there. Did pick up a silverware or a flatware set for 20 bucks. Um, thought I had shoot my shot with silverware on this one. And I did like the case, it's kind of cute. So check that. And I picked up this really cool <laughs> turtle stool. It is stained, but I thought I could reupholster it, maybe paint it. I I like turtles, so I don't know if I want to keep this for myself. Just have his decor in the new house. 
or if I want to maybe save it for if I open an antique booth, which I'm really thinking about that. But it was a buck, so we'll just have that here. And then I went out this morning to a couple sales. Only found things at one sale. Found this little marine band harmonica thing. Um, this little instrument thing. I don't really know what to call it. A little mortar and pestle. It is actual stone, so it's really heavy. There you go, you can see it better. And... I had gone through the jewelry. There's this guy that usually goes to sales and finds jewelry and like goes through it with his little magnifying glass. Well, I went through it after he was done and ended up finding this. On the clasp, it does say 925. Very, very tiny though. Over there. Um, so I grabbed that and it has some cute little stones in it. So that's all I found in there. But that's what I picked up today. Hey guys, it's Saturday night. Just wanted to give you guys a little update. I told you guys earlier in this video about my little like plan that I had was to um, list my death pile, then start a cleaning and decluttering phase of my house to prep for moving. Well, I will tell you that as of today, I've officially listed most of my death pile, with the exception of a few blankets that first I want to mop the floor upstairs and then take the pictures up there or down here, clean the floor, and then take pictures of these blankets and then I have two telephones I have like a Mickey Mouse one and then one of those clear ones that light up that I want to hook up to a landline first and test it out so I'm planning on doing that next week and a box or it's like a tote full of jewelry which I haven't really listed or touched at all um most of that I think is going to go on whatnot if things go smoothly enough I do plan to have a whatnot here soon that's going to be all jewelry which will be pretty cool get that offloaded as quick as possible and I did want to officially, not officially, but just tell you guys about, which is now my best sales weekend ever. It's Saturday night, 9.04 p.m. As of right now, we have 42 sales to pack with a total of 1,082.55. Of course, that's gross. That's not including cost of goods. That's not including fees and taxes and all that. But I will say I've never reached over 1,000 in a weekend before. And we still have tomorrow to go to. Um, I'm not going to have an accurate number after tonight because I do plan to pack some orders to get a head start and not be super overwhelmed tomorrow and Monday. But I thought I'd give you guys kind of a heads up on my progress with my step plan that I was telling you guys about and also my sales because I've listed nearly almost everything that I can and put my store on sale and I've been accepting offers left and right, sending out offers left and right, and it's been going really well. So it's awesome. I also wanted to tell you guys something really unfortunate that happened. Um, it, I cried over it so much this weekend, which is why um, I initially planned to have everything listed. Oh, I just sold something. Bakugan, Battle Brawlers, $20 plus ship. Cool. Um, I would have been done listing my death pile sooner, but on, what was it, two nights ago, I was catching up on my bookkeeping so I can submit my quarterly tax payments for the 15th, which was yesterday. And I used my reseller genie for my bookkeeping and I accidentally deleted all of my sales data. So all my data that I inputted in there, it, it integrates from eBay but my cost of goods and the date that I purchased the item, all that data is gone. So now I have to go through and re-enter all of it, which really, really sucks. I know I'm going to get people in here being like, oh, you should use the cash method, not the accrual method, because that's what I use and that's what I prefer. I don't really want to hear it, to be honest. Um, but it happened. It really sucks. It's really heartbreaking. Um, I already talked to them. They don't have a way to revert any of that, kind of like the way Google Sheets or I think QuickBooks does it where you can like go back to a previous save. My Real Seller Genie doesn't have the capability to do that apparently, which makes me really sad. Um, but now I learned I'm never going to make that mistake again. So yeah, we're going to have to work on that. But that's probably going to be after I move because your girl doesn't have time to do that right now. But Anyways, thought I'd tell you about that, but let's get around to showing you some of the things that sold so I can start packing up some stuff tonight. I have you guys set up here on my chair, kind of sideways. Um, <laughs> there we go. 
there that's a little better the lighting's not good i'm just gonna go through a few things with you guys that i sold um 15 plus shipping we got this little cute jack-in-the-box crystal figure then for 11 plus ship where is it it's behind me we got another one of those department 56 little m m road things um we only have i think one or two more left of those and they were all different boxes so then we sold this is actually swarovski a little tiny flower basket it's really cute um 14 plus shipping and then we sold i took an offer on this because i did not want to take this with me because it's big and bulky but this really cool ski do um what do they call it bombardier jacket bombardier is, am i saying that right um ski coat 21 plus shipping i think i paid like five bucks for this i got that at a little citywide sale and then we sold a rainbow rainmate this one it's the second time this one has sold because the first time it got canceled before i shipped it and it does have a lot of hard water damage but it still works 35 dollars plus shipping on that one this really cute picture um i think i got this in a free bin or something and i thought about keeping it but i didn't listed it for like 12 plus ship someone sent me an offer for six dollars plus ship and i'm like you know what we'll just take that we have one more thing um this really cute radio flyer little bicycle it's like a doll bicycle ten dollars plus shipping i think i paid like a dollar something really cheap for that it's still new in the box and everything and i forgot to show you guys a couple more things that i picked up on what day was that i think i went to sales on friday and i picked up a couple things so i'm going to show you that right now so i went out to some sales on friday got this cookbook i have one of these in my store currently but this one is one that you should keep an eye out for i think it sells between 20 and 30 dollars got it for a quarter and then we got this rainbow rainmate and this is like my i think i have two of them in my store currently maybe one other one but i paid two dollars for this one it looks like it was maybe used once and it comes with like a little essential oils kit which i've never seen before um so i'll have to comp that so that's cool and on facebook marketplace i picked up this really cool ruby red vintage lamp um i saw one listed on ebay for like over a hundred dollars i can't remember exactly how much but it was three dollars so i'll i'll ship that we'll get that listed eventually i know i just said i listed my death pile but um oh and this goes in it too so we've got that so we have a, a couple things here to list that I completely forgot about here in my office and um, some jewelry. So that'll be fun. Hey guys, it's Sunday night, packing up some orders pretty late. Got a bunch of stuff going out. So going to speed through this seven plus ship. Combined $8 plus shipping. Eight forty dollars plus ship. Two eighty dollars plus ship. Ten plus ship. Seven plus ship. Another 7 plus ship, 10 plus ship, 9 plus ship, 1603 plus ship, 6 free ship, 10 plus ship, 11 plus ship, 12 plus ship, 6 plus ship, 12 plus ship, 14 plus ship, 7 plus ship, Another seven plus ship. Hey guys, it's Monday showing you some more things that sold. 1260 plus ship. This is a Santa in a train garden flag. 840 plus ship for the Scentsy dish. 47 plus ship. I have the other two sets of the Made for Life jogger suits or uh, track suits going out to the same person. 20 plus ship. 22 plus ship. 10 plus ship, 25 plus ship, even though some of these little Polly Pocket figures are broken, like missing arms and stuff. 1550 free ship on this Carhartt jacket. $9.10 plus ship for this cute little Scentsy warmer. 18 plus ship for this lot of Mad, or not Mad magazines, but um, these cracked Monster Party magazines. 
22 plus ship on this Guitar Hero guitar for PS3. I'm very happy these are going out 29 plus ship. 10 plus ship. 18 free ship. This sold within about 5 minutes of listing it. So if you guys ever find any more, maybe price it a little bit higher. 10 plus ship for these two. These also sold within, I think it was about an hour of listing these. 9 plus ship. 7 plus ship. 15 free ship. 9 plus ship. Over here I have this chessboard with the pieces going out for 68 plus shipping. If you guys remember that glass negative video, I lotted up all the religious ones and sold them for 80 plus shipping. $6 free ship. 20 plus ship. $3.50 plus ship. $17.50 plus ship. 10 plus ship. 9 plus ship. This is a 31 bag actually, which is kind of weird because it doesn't quite look like one. 16 plus ship, 45 plus ship combined for all of these Department 56 M&M trees, 8 plus ship, 540 plus ship, 36 plus ship, 12 plus ship for this coat that I actually found next to someone's trash can. They were throwing away a bunch of clothes and this was in there, so that was free. About $54 combined plus ship, an order from my friend ABC Matt. Make sure to check him out over here on YouTube and eBay. Hey guys, it's Tuesday the 19th. I just, I wasn't expecting to, to record yet today, um, but I had something happen that I guess I'm going to tell you guys about because uh, I'm, I'm kind of upset. I was listing today, I was on my second item, and I decide to list this. It is like a sport tuner for a vehicle. I've had it sitting in my death pile forever. I list it. Instantly, I get a message from eBay or like a, a message that pops up saying that my account has been suspended and I cannot list anything for one day. No other information. I'm assuming it's because of this item because I clicked list and that's when that message popped up and now it's in my drafts. People are selling it on Mercari just fine. I'm on a chat with eBay support right now. I wish they'd give me more info. It said I was supposed to get a message about it. I have nothing in my messages. So, lovely communication, eBay. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll tell you guys what happens. Um, I was hoping to get some listing done today, but I guess I can't. So, I guess I gotta go work on something else. But that really sucks. So, I guess if you guys get one of those, make sure you list them on Mercari and not eBay. Because eBay will um, put you in time out. All right, so basically what I'm, I've gathered from talking to them, um, it was a bot that got went through and determined my item to be counterfeit, even though there's a sticker on it, like that the person before me had got it from the Ford dealer. So it's whatever. I'm just going to throw it on Mercari since people are throwing theirs on there anyways. Um, I guess for the day, I'm going to just make some drafts or something because that's all I can do. Anyways, despite the bad luck we've had today, we still have 10 orders to go out. First off, for a total of $93.20, we have an order from Brian Bacon Fun. He ordered this Department 56 M&M little candy factory thing and the set of two mushroom Tupperware containers. Those are, or not Tupperware, oh my gosh, Pyrex containers. Super cute. Um, when I had picked these up originally, I don't think I had a lid for either one and I ended up finding a spare lid at garage sales for both. So that's awesome. Eight plus ship for these two brass apples. They're supposed to be bells, but neither one has the bell part on the inside. Seven ninety nine plus ship on these vans. At this point, I'm taking any reasonable offer on items just to get them out of here before we move. Five dollars and thirty four cents plus shipping. Next, we have an order from Liz, the Nerdy Picker, $14 plus shipping for this Rainbow Bright doll. I had another one that I just sold, what was it, yesterday I think I packed it up? So, awesome. 32 free ship for this Caflon pan that I got from my mom. So we have one more left to sell, which I think is the big skillet one with the lid. So, so far we've made a good profit on these, considering they were free. Thought this was funny, $7.80 plus shipping. 10 plus ship for this brass squirrel. 
$7.20 free ship. 10 plus ship and this was actually the one item that I was able to list today before my account got suspended until tomorrow. So anyways, we're going to get this all packed up and ready to go out tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, September 20th. Have one sale on Mercari today. I decided to list some of my personal shoe collection on there just before we moved just to see if I could downsize a little bit. Sold these already. $115 free ship. They're so cute, but I need a downsize. <laughs> so we went ahead and sold those. Of course, free shipping on Mercari because I do not like shipping with Mercari shipping. So I'd rather just factor it into the price and sell it that way. So we have these going out today as well as everything else that I showed you in the last video. Got to go pull some orders today from out in the trailer though. Hey guys, it's later in the day. I just wanted to show you everything that sold. I finally went out to the trailer and pulled everything. First off, for all in, $108.28. They did pay 66 plus shipping. This World of Warcraft board game that I got at the church sale. I probably could have got more for it, but I do have a lot of my store on 40% off right now just because we're trying to get as much sold as we can before I move. Next thing we've got, this one's really exciting. These vintage Wrangler leather jeans sold. 75 plus shipping. I had originally posted them for 88 and then someone sent me an offer for 75 and I figured I'd take it. I'm honestly just taking any reasonable offer that I can just to get things out. Next, we have a pin that I stuck in a shoe so I don't lose it. This little tiny, tiny, tiny dare pin. $4.20 plus shipping. Then we've got... This bowl, $6 plus shipping. We got this little cute little harmonica, $10 plus shipping. Apartment 56, Skating Village. It's not in perfect condition, but we did get it sold. Did I already tell you what for? How much for? $30 plus shipping. A little mini crystal figurine. We're still selling these. Little tiny, tiny bear one. $5 plus shipping. Got a Fenton piece going out. $24 plus ship. It's a really pretty glass like trumpet vase dish. $12 plus shipping. Sparkle butt jeans. Relatively <laughs> sparkly. I guess they're a little bit not as impressive. Size 28 for 18 plus shipping. Um, another one of these Sensi Zen Rock dishes. 9 plus ship. Not a great um, profit on those anymore. I'm just trying to get them out before we go. This cute little Budweiser Clydesdales keychain, $4 plus shipping. It's got all kinds of little charms on it. Really cute. I don't even remember where I got that. 10 plus ship. We've got Mysterium, the board game. For the last thing, we have another very large item. Uh, this Titanic model kit. That I also got at the same church sale as the World of Warcraft board game. We sold that for 35 plus shipping. They're all in 7801. Um... Could have got around 50. I had it listed around 50, but I just, like I said, just decided to take it, get it shipped out, get it gone, especially when it's a large item like this. Um, so yeah, that's everything I sold so far. So I'll go ahead and get those things packed up. I completely forgot to show you guys one more item. We sold another item on Mercari. I cross-listed these last night manually. Um, they sold for 17 free ship. Again, not a great profit, but getting stuff out. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I did not go out to sales today, but I did kind of want to tell you how busy and hectic of a day today is. So I woke up. Um, there's a bunch of people interested in stuff that I cross-listed on Facebook as far as shoes. There's a lady coming to buy a bunch of Fenton glassware from me and all the a lot of collectible glass that I have, which is awesome because I don't want to pack that up to move it really because it's glass. Um, and on top of that, Grandma and Pop's Vintage decided to buy a bunch of my inventory from me and I'm gonna go meet them tomorrow at a citywide. So we'll go do some sales together and I'm bringing them like a car full of inventory, which is really cool. So they're getting that off of my back, which is awesome. So um, I guess I'll see you guys when I'm outside packing up the stuff that they got from me. So I wanted to show you guys a deal that I just made on Marketplace. I had these beautiful custard Fenton fairy lamps listed for I think it was 45 a piece I had a lady reach out she's like hey would you take 80 for the two that I have I'm like yeah sure and I was like hey are you interested in any other Fenton or uranium glass pieces and she said yes I sent her a few pictures she ended up finding my eBay store sending me okay I'm interested in all of this we ended up coming up with 
a hundred and oops, hundred and eighty dollars for all of it, which I think is amazing. It's all of this is mainly breakables, which I'm so glad did not have to worry about packing. So you never know if you ever make a Facebook Marketplace deal, make sure to ask them like, hey, are you interested in anything else? Because look what it turned into. Now I'm making almost 200 bucks and getting rid of a lot of my glass. All right, guys, you got everything packed up for Graham and Pops. There's that box back there, this box. So my back seat is full. And here in the trunk, we have the rest of what they ordered. This is a piece to the doll case that goes around that doll. But yeah, we'll pack that up and we are gonna get ready for the citywide tomorrow. On my desk here, I do have this Hubba Bubba Ouch tin going out for 12 plus shipping. This was actually mine. Um, I wish I would have kept all of them from my childhood because I know I used to have a bunch of these. $49.99 plus ship for this beautiful Pyrex Amish print dish. Last couple of orders for tonight, $8 plus ship for this really cute little seashell pin. It is actually signed um, Monet on the inside. And for 21 free ship, I sold this on Mercari. It was one of my personal clothing items. Didn't really make a profit on it. In fact, I lost money, but we're trying to get it out since I'm not going to wear it. Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. Just thought I'd show you all of the orders we got from the Whatnot show we had last night. That was all jewelry. Had some decent turnouts, a lot of things going out, which I am so happy about. So we'll get those packed up tonight, as well as some orders going out tomorrow, which I will show you now. Hey guys, it is Sunday evening. Just got done packing all the whatnot orders. That took me a little bit. Now we're about to pack all my eBay orders. We have 40 orders from over the weekend. We're going to pack up as much as we can tonight and then more tomorrow. Starting off for $8.40 free shipping, we've got Little Big Planet for the PS4. Next, we've got a Vera Bradley bag for $12 free shipping. It's got a cute little deer design on it, all kinds of animals. It looks like a squirrel. I was going to say a fox. Squirrel and deer design. This vintage Gillette Slim adjustable safety razor in the blue case, $30 plus shipping. $6 plus shipping. We've got this Spider-Man Classics tie, $9 plus shipping. We've got this set of vintage Atlas milk glass little canisters. Two of them have the lid upside down though because I didn't want them to fall out, but there they are. Very, very cute. I've had these for a while. Honestly, I don't even remember where I got them. <laughs> so set those down. $5.40 free shipping. Just recently picked this up, the Sharp and Easy Tool Two-Step Coarse Fine Knife Sharpener. Um, I don't remember what I paid for this. I think I overpaid, like I'm, I think I'm gonna lose money on it actually, because after my sale, it took off. Next, we've got $6 plus shipping is this. It is quite heavy, so they are all in $30.06. So, glad that's getting out of here, though. I've been trying to get rid of that forever. $6 plus shipping, I do have this very cute garden flag it's a pumpkin a miss me purse and wallet set the purse is in okay condition it's got wear on the latch it's got wear up here um and it's got a matching wallet on the inside i don't know if i said it already 15 plus shipping they're all in 27.50 digital rain gauge right here 16.80 plus shipping the sale is really working out to clear out some inventory guys but we still have um, I still think we're a little bit above 1600 items. $12 plus shipping. 10 plus shipping for these. I actually had them listed and they sold. And then they got canceled due to non-payment. And then after they relisted, someone else sent in an offer for 10 bucks. I figured I'd take them because these have been around for a long time. Judging by the listing picture, I've had these for a long time. A very long time. $5.40 plus shipping. We've got this willow tree figurine. I believe it's one of the ones we got in Colorado where I paid a dollar a piece. Not great profit. Probably not going to pick those up much anymore. 45 plus shipping. We've got these awesome biker boots going out. For five plus shipping, we have these Converse. I'm honestly accepting any offer on shoes. $15 plus shipping for this board game. 15 plus ship for this Barbie doll hard rock little guitar accessory phone for 25 plus shipping. I just listed it a few days ago. It 
it's tested and working. Then we sold this glass for 14 plus ship. I still don't know quite what it is, but we picked this up just recently. 15 plus ship for another Coors koozie. 24 plus ship for this touch lamp. 10 plus ship for these shoes. 480 plus ship for this replacement Lego Star Wars dude. 15 plus ship for this woven USA blanket tapestry thing. 12 plus ship for these Skechers Delights. Super cute. 18 plus ship. Where did it go? Oh, this uranium glass fridge dish. Even though there is a little bit of damage, there's some chips. So sold. And that's all I pulled to get packed for tomorrow. We're going to take it easy. And then we've already got a bunch more for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it is Tuesday the 26th. Super busy today. Did a bunch of errands. Went and got my car washed. Starting to get things ready to go to Cincinnati in a couple of days. Really exciting. But I want to show you guys everything that's sold because we have a bunch of stuff that needs to go out today. $7 free shipping. $4 plus shipping. We have a set of these cat salt and pepper shakers that are really cute. And they're the older kind that has the corks on the bottom. Then we've got a Hyundai, Hyundai Santa Fe owner's manual 2005 going out for a 10 free ship. $11.40 plus ship. We have this department 56 house with the little candy dish in the front. This little turtle dude, $6 plus shipping. It is one of those Wade porcelain. This going out, $65 plus shipping. We have two more snake necklaces left. $6 plus shipping for this little um, Pegasus token coin. It's, I guess, a, an oil logo something like that ten dollars and twenty cents plus shipping we sold this nordic wear pumpkin pan just in time for the fall season next we've got this going out for 11.40 plus ship i got this at a sale where i think everything was like 50 cents or a buck i didn't pay much for that just thought it was really cute this mickey mouse phone i tested it last week and it receives calls but as far as dialing them out the buttons are kind of sticky and it wouldn't dial out calls successfully so i don't know but we sold it for 25 plus ship i had it listed at 30 plus ship but someone sent an offer and i decided to just take it 21 plus shipping we've got a board game then we've got these for 18 plus ship i got these at an auction and i really didn't know what they were i listed them as Japanese Buddha, question mark, enamel, colored ceramic matching figures, set of two. Another 18 plus ship, we've got this little Powerpuff Girls playing card set, new old stock. 10 plus shipping, we've got this little set of minions going out. 4 plus ship, we've got a little cross stitch kit. 1260 plus ship, we have this Vera Bradley bag. 10 plus ship, we have this brass bird 1440 plus ship we have these pioneer speaker covers it was really funny because i actually had the bin open that these were in in the trailer and these sold right when i had the bin open which was kind of funny so i didn't really have to go dig for them um the rest of the stuff that sold i don't have in here so i'm gonna go ahead and pack all this stuff up and then come back and show you guys the rest all right guys i have everything pulled that i currently have awaiting shipment 72 plus shipping i think this was 12 plus ship i lied 14 plus ship 9 plus ship 80 plus ship this was a return four dollars and 80 cents plus ship 16 dollars and 20 cents plus ship 1350 plus ship this was on sale 35 plus ship 5 plus ship and lastly this for 15 plus ship the order came through while i was in the trailer pulling the rest of the orders so that's all we've got for now hey guys it's been a couple days since i've recorded as you can see i've been working on packing up my office um today we're actually leaving to cincinnati to be there for the reseller rally we leave in like three hours or so um, just waiting for my husband to get off of work and then we're gonna head out um, Really haven't done much the past few days. My store has been on vacation mode I do have about seven orders already that I'm gonna have to pack once I get back um, But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably end the video here and I will see you guys on my Cincinnati video